Hey everybody, this graph uh, was originally posted online on Information as Beautiful. It was taken by some folks online to claim that uh, COVID-19 wasn't as serious as the swine flu or HIV or any of these other diseases above it on the graph. Of course, it was an apples to oranges comparison because COVID-19 was just getting started. So I've got some animation here that shows uh, what COVID-19 has actually been doing and a more fair comparison between these diseases and COVID-19. So I've added the two yellow bars to the graph and as the dates start to increase you're going to see both the average, it's 133 right now, and the daily number for March 16th on subsequent days it'll change the date and show you what the daily numbers are. So here we go. So you can see that uh, the daily numbers are much higher than the long-term average. Uh, we're comparing to long-term averages so somewhere in between these two bars is where the reality lies. You can see the daily is significantly higher. So we're going to go a little bit quicker through a few more dates to move along here. You'll see the scale change a couple of times during this because the numbers keep getting bigger. So you can already see though that we've far surpassed the seasonal flu. Some folks have kind of stuck to this kind of uh, narrative. However, when others realized that it wasn't working so well, they started to talk about, well, yeah, but you know, not all the deaths that are coded as COVID are actually COVID. So I've got a graph coming up that actually shows the excess deaths compared to the norm, as well as, here it is, um, the blue area, which is the COVID coded deaths. So you can see that the excess deaths have definitely been up. So this is obviously in addition to anything that normally would have happened. And it looks like we almost haven't accounted for all of the COVID deaths in our counts. So despite that narrative, I don't believe that uh, we have an issue here with uh, COVID deaths being overcounted. And if anything, I would guess that they've been undercounted. So we'll keep on moving through the graph here of the dates uh, as we go forward. And you'll see that uh, things just keep getting more interesting. So now already our average is above the worst disease in this list, which is tuberculosis. Um, and if you look at those numbers, like 3,000, uh, that's already three times the seasonal flu. Um, so if somebody starts babbling about seasonal flu, uh, you know, being equivalent or it's no worse than seasonal flu, uh, clearly that's not the case. So this is through August. The time of the year when we don't expect it um, viruses to be as bad because everybody's outside not cooped up together as much as they would normally be uh, and yet we've still got a pretty um, significant number of disease deaths uh, per day running through this period of time well yeah Sweden comes up quite often too Sweden's king and prime minister both expressed concerns over the way they have handled uh, the coronavirus. Their state epidemiologist, easy for me to say, um, has also expressed some surprise that it's come back as strong as it has because uh, he was essentially trying to uh, be a little more lenient on lockdowns and hoping for what uh, seemed to be herd immunity going forward. Now we're hitting a point in time where the seasonal flu is four times uh, less dangerous than COVID-19 and the COVID-19 numbers are continuing to get worse. Now we've also been focused in this graph on uh, the deaths caused by COVID-19, but it's also good to remember that there are long-term uh, effects that COVID-19 is having on people as well and uh, there's quite a different um, quite a number of different areas in the body that are being affected and it looks like in some cases there's long-term damage um, yet to be dealt with so it's also a concern as we move forward in this. Day by day the numbers are still at least double what the long-term average is so our average is still getting worse uh, over time. It'll be interesting to see where it ends up in the end. At any rate I encourage you to stay safe out there 
and uh, be aware of the facts. Thanks for listening.